We would like to thank you for everything that you've done for the African American community so far. We thank you for criminal justice reform. We thank you for the lowest black unemployment rate in this country, sir. It's all working. Opportunity Zones are helping Americans like Army veteran Tony Rankins from Cincinnati, Ohio. After struggling with drug addiction, Tony lost his job, his house, and his family. He was homeless. But then Tony found a construction company that invests in Opportunity Zones. He is now a top tradesman, drug-free, reunited with his family, and he is here tonight. Tony, keep up the great work, Tony. A few weeks ago, I signed a bill promoting Charles McGee to Brigadier General. And earlier today, I pinned the stars on his shoulders in the Oval Office. General McGee, our nation salutes you. Thank you, sir. And I want to thank our incredible president, President Donald John Trump. Now, he's supposed to look like Donald Trump, but he's actually much too good looking. You are really handsome. Where's your daddy? And your mommy, right? Do you want to go back? Do you want to go back to them or do you want to stay with Donald Trump? Trump. Yeah. Those students is Janiah Davis, a fourth grader from Philadelphia, Janiah. Make sure we fight for this man, the one man who is standing up for black America. We are going to fight for, guys. First of all, I just want to say I love President Donald J. Trump. 2020 is around the corner, and we have a lot to lose now because President Donald J. Trump has done so much for the black community. Thank you, President Trump. Let's, let's continue to make America great again. Uh, I now want to bring forth a friend who has, uh, well, he is deceptive in that his social style is of such. One can miss his seriousness and his commitment, for his success is beyond argument. Uh, when we opened this Wall Street project and we talked about it, we gave us space at 40 Wall Street which was to make a statement about our having a presence there. Uh, and uh, beyond that, in terms of reaching out and being inclusive, he's done that too.
uh, and created for many people a comfort zone when I ran for the presidency uh, in 84 and 88. And many others uh, thought it was either laughable or something to avoid. He came to our business meeting here in New York because he has this sense of the curious and a will to risk to make things better. And so aside from all of, of his style uh, and his um, pizzazz, he's a serious person who is an effective builder of building for the builder people. Last year he was a part of our workshop, of our panel workshop on what are the challenges and opportunities. And so this, a year later, Donald Trump uh, for a few minutes challenges and opportunities to embrace the underserved communities. Donald Trump. I will tell you a large percentage of the people, and especially in construction, that are building these great jobs are black and minorities, and I'm very proud of it. We have uh, close to 25 percent, and I think the number's going up, and they do a great job. There are no better builders than we have in New York, and a big percentage of that is black and minority folks. So I just want to thank everybody in the room for being here. I look forward to some questions. And then I don't know how we're ever going to leave this building today because if you look outside, it is terrible. But we'll figure a way. There's always a way. And thank you, and thank you, Jesse, and congratulations. Thank you.